Salutations to the internet, YouTube, and Ford enthusiasts. I uh, was given this uh, Ford PSOM module, or it's a programmable speedometer odometer module from a 1995 F250 4x4 uh, Ford uh, pickup truck. And uh, met uh, basically I met someone uh, over in uh, Texas who... Had, I had worked on some of his generator boards, and he asked me if I could repair this. And it looks like another person on YouTube by the name of Shadow Rider 460, shout out to you, uh, had done an extensive repair job on this, but uh, had neglected to do a parts list of what he had changed. I will be providing that to you. So kudos to uh, Shadow Rider 460 for doing the preliminary work, but I uh, just want to provide a, an up-to-date uh, list of parts in order to fix those uh, parts that would normally go on it should the need arise for the application. I'll link into the description down below to a Mauser cart. Uh, Mauser.com is a very uh, popular um, electronics component vendor and uh, if you and if it does not work for whatever reason you can pause the video. I've already done the preliminary work so go ahead and give it a pause there and those are the parts that you're going to need. Uh, we'll start off with the varistor which is the black disc on the top here. You have the electrolytic capacitor, the small one that goes in, uh, I believe it's in uh, series or parallel with the VSS uh, the speed sensor. You have the power uh, capacitor that smooths it out so it's the exact same size and then finally the rectifier which is the small surface mount diode uh, which is located right I can get a good focus on it but that's basically where it is I can't really get a good uh, oh there we go yeah so that little surface MELF diode there um, all all the specs are exactly uh, original so that's what you should be uh, buying there now there's a few other parts that you won't be able to necessarily source very well uh, this is a Motorola 70013F as in Frank B as in boy uh, it's a DIP 14. Uh, over here is another Motorola chip, uh, 71003M as in Mary, B as in boy. Uh, I looked them up. You can find the data sheets. I can't seem to find a vendor that actually sells them. This is a DIP 8. I don't know what it is, but I believe if I focus in on it here, you know, B as in boy, 55BB. Uh, it's a PSOM. Looks like it's a revision 01. And uh, I'm just going to go very easily over the board here so you can see the different parts, at least the part numbers, uh, if you look at this in HD. Uh, do forgive the shakiness and uh, see if I can get a good picture of that. So that's an LG and then five or a 1G52 on the side there. So that's a number one. Uh, it's a PNP type tra transistor. I've already checked a lot of these already. These are all testing good. Um, but again, you know, you never know when you might need them. Uh, so these are all pretty much the same ones. There are a few different ones here. Um, but I leave this open for you guys to go and take a look here. Um, there are some power diodes here. I don't know the specs of the capacitors. The capacitors you do need to go and uh, measure out a circuit. So if they're... I'm not going to keep this board. I'm going to be sending it back out to Texas after I'm done with it. Uh, so please feel free to uh, message me while I have this up here. Um, if not, I'm sure another YouTuber will be uh, working on this, something very similar. Uh, that's 5101F as in Frank, B as in boy. It's another Motorola part. I believe it looks to be some sort of voltage regulator. Uh, I haven't looked up the spec on that. And then finally, this looks to be another capacitor. Let's move that off to the side there just slightly. So it's a 2 uh, microfarad. Uh, I want to say it's a tantalum capacitor. But uh, it's got three leads on it, so that may not be uh, a capacitor, but it sure looks like the form factor of one. And that's pretty much it. So I hope that helps others. Uh, I don't know what this uh, socketed chip uh, is for. This looks to be a Ford proprietary, uh, this chip and this chip here. Um, so if those burn out, you pretty much have no other recourse but to order a new one. Um, the hardest part, for me at least, was trying to find the varistor which is um it's an mov it's a metal oxide varistor uh basically starts conducting after so after a certain voltage 
and you really can't find that part number. Uh, it's a TDK, uh, but that part number I think is the date code, and then that's the part number. It was likely given to Ford, or Ford, you know, special ordered it. And there's not really much to it. It's just it starts conducting after a certain voltage, so it protects the circuitry on here. Normally what you would find is that this varistor is either exploded or that the trace underneath is all destroyed. Uh, these electrolytic capacitors, this, is probably, this has been around since 1985, uh, or I'm sorry, 1995, my fault. Uh, so they're likely all dried out. Um, this is the other part number that's on here, for those that are interested. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not going to do the repair on camera, I fig figured... Uh, Shadow Rider has done enough of that already, um, but the only difficult part, obviously, is you can use um, my Hako uh, 808 uh, desoldering gun to remove these ma main uh, through-hole components, and then uh, my uh, Hako D888 uh, pencil uh, soldering iron there, or I could use my hot tweezers, whatever is easier, uh, to remove uh, the MELF diode. Right now, all the diode and the varistor all test just fine. Uh, this actually tests fine the capacitor the filter power filter capacitor, but I'm going to replace it anyway I can't get a reading in circuit on this particular capacitor I'd have to remove it in, out of circuit and if I'm going to do that I might as well just replace it And finally there's this other diode here. I don't know how well I can get it It's a 226 20 K 535 uh, It's not likely to go but it looks to be part of the power filtering uh, just in case you need it you have a at least if it's blown you have a part number you can at least look it up I don't know the form factor off the top of my head though so I hope you guys enjoyed the video any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments down below I'll try to answer them the best I can and uh, as always thank you for watching